Thank you for inviting me to speak today. I've spent many decades modeling. Today I'll be giving you my perspective from my experience in telecom, general software development, enterprise architecture, and tool development industries. It's my desire to improve the status quo. This presentation contains personal opinions that do not necessarily represent those of no magic or Dassault systems. I love modeling. Sadly, more people recognize this face than know this is a bad pun. I hope that this changes someday. I've been modeling for a really long time, it turns out. When I was 10 years old, I had a 101 kit. It's a wooden box with thick cardboard, uh, components with leads connected to springs that I connect by wires, <clears throat> jumping from one spring to the next spring to make circuits. So I, make, I made uh, an amplifier to scare my brother at night. I made an AM radio. I made a metal detector. I made a, a spy thing for the telephone. <clears throat> The symbols underneath each component taught me to follow electri electrical schematics. Combinations of transistors and resistors abstracted into AND gates and OR gates. Latches abstracted into latch, uh, gates abstracted into latches. <clears throat> latches abstracted into registers. Registers into adders. Adders into CPUs controlled by bit patterns. And bit patterns into hexadecimal numbers and English abbreviations. These are called mnemonics. Assembler let me name groups of instructions as subroutines. C let me name functions and arguments, variables, structures, fields, and then fields could have even more structure to them. So C gave, C gave me a way to represent concepts that exist in embedded telecom systems, such as switches, routers, Ethernet frames, Internet protocol packets, and end stations. The problem was that using the most meaningful names in code to communicate with coworkers was hard. For example, a function called just do it just isn't good enough. I found my coworkers' code was not always easy to read or understand. Sometimes all their code was in one giant function. Sometimes they used nonsense names like X or Y or RIJ. That one was particularly puzzling. It turned out that the person who wrote that uh, was pronouncing it ridge as in r-i-d-g-e i had no idea <clears throat> 